is up rock metal fans okay so do forgive me because over here i wanted to do something a little bit different now obviously being a huge guns and roses fan um i, I think we all know that they don't really have an extensive discography but what it is is one hell of a discography you know like uh, fewer albums but the impact is that much more and i mean that as a compliment none insult so do calm down guys who might be overreacting the thing is that i want to do something a little different with this video because obviously while guns and roses has had a certain amount of input over the years uh i also wanted to call out something that slash had done but instead of doing two separate videos i thought maybe let's just give everyone a good sense of flavor about the guns and roses world seeing how slash is so iconic along with axel duff and izzy and with uh, steve and everyone else so let's kick things off into high gear where you have this album now this one is without a doubt just as the critics say one of the best if not the best debuts now a lot of guys say it is the best debut or at least rock metal debut um i would still support that argument simply because you look at such classic tracks as welcome to the jungle sweet child of mine rocket queen night train mr brownstone the list goes on and on so start to finish this is a masterpiece there's no doubt about it this was a big game changer when it came out and i think this was 1987 so you had huge albums like for instance you even had def leppard's hysteria which was their fourth but this was the first for guns and roses and just imagine what it would have been like to be alive at that time to hear these albums coming out for the first time seeing the videos and so on pure magic i mean i have some vague recollections because i was pretty young at that point but i mean that was really something so definitely check this out appetite for destruction definitely a classic record for you guys to get to know more about guns and roses which then leads me to this now okay now there, there's a big debate because there was use your illusion one and use your illusion two and while i do love both records i somehow would have to cite this one as more of my personal favorite although i don't mean that in a slap in i don't mean that sorry as a slap on the face to use your illusion two although it has my favorite guns and roses track of all time which is you could be mine and i definitely do prefer the alternate version of uh, don't cry which has got the alternate lyrics on that album but this one is apart from the obvious one of the most arguably the most well-known guns and roses song which is november rain but you got so many other songs like coma bad apples garden of eden you have right next door to hell you have you know live and let die which is a cover of uh, paul mccartney's so uh, you know from his discography with his band and there's just a lot of diversity i think that there's a little more groove if i could call it that there's a little more uh you know commercial appeal perhaps on this record it's a little more straightforward when than uh the the second twin album but this is just my thoughts guys you don't have to agree and if you guys have alternative views please let me know in the comments i'd love to hear from you even if it's not in sync with what i think and then from these two records which you can check from guns and roses you can then check out this album now this to me is the classic slash record okay i think that you know from the cover art to the track listing to the kind of songs the attitude the vibe the guests that slash on you know everyone from lemmy the late lemmy god rest his soul we all miss him and you have uh, other folks so uh, here and for instance songs like ghost I mean that's a song which I would say is my personal favorite off the record but if you look at everything else it's just start to finish you know brilliant diverse engaging pure 100% a great showcase of slash and his abilities and how he also used that to contribute to the legacy of Guns and Roses so there you have it guys a bit of a mixed bag of things which I want to present with this video let me know what you guys think in the comments below and as always I look forward to hearing from you and I shall see you soon rock on